I'm John. And we're geezers on the go. Yes, we are. In this episode, we're at Fort McAllister Historic State Park near Richmond Hill, Georgia. It's about 30 miles south of Savannah and about 10 miles inland on the Ogeechee River. And yes, we shared our campsite with the deer, who didn't seem to be very afraid of us at all, probably because they outnumbered us. The Fort McAllister campground is located on what's called Savage Island. You have to go across a waterway or marshes to get here and then you come in. And then there's a couple of big loops that lead all around the park and down to the a boat launch and pier. This is our site 21 here at Fort McAllister State Park and the our front lawn is huge. I think it's bigger than the, our, some of our front lawns we've had in our houses. And we've got little palmettos and some trees and it's lots of good shade and Spanish moss. It's a really pretty sight. And it looks out to the front here. Got all my little tchotchkes and people across the street. They remembered us. We saw them in Myrtle Beach. <laughs> kind of funny. At one of our other campsites. And then as you come around, if you had kids in this campsite, you have this gigantic back lawn area here so that if you wanted to, you could play frisbee or maybe hit the wiffle ball around. Be careful, don't hit them in the bushes, but a big space. The park has a total of 67 RV and tent sites, two backcountry campgrounds, and seven cabins on stilts near the marsh, plus tons of fishing, boating, and hiking opportunities. Beautiful sights. I don't know how buggy it gets here in the summertime. We're here in the end of February. Weather has been pleasant. It's been in the 80s. Not too humid. There is what they call a comfort station. It's sort of in between what they call the premium area where we are that has the full hookups and the other area that has just water and electric. And it does have a small laundry, one washer, one dryer. It might take you a while to wash your clothes, but at least it offers something. Park wraps around in a couple of loops. So one is the premier with full hookups and then there's this raccoon way, way which has water and electric and there is a, a tent area which is really pretty and then there's an area down to the boat launch. Lots to do here. Lots of trails too. We're just walking through the park you feel like you're walking on a trail. And most of the roads are paved here, so if you do have a bicycle, you should be, have no problem taking a spin around the park. And most of them seem to be pull-throughs. These are more dirt sites where the campers are instead of gravel. Pretty good size spacing. Backs up to the woods and palm trees and looks like you can't go wrong with any of the campsites in this campground. These are what they call cottages at the state park here. I suppose they're like cabins, but 
they're, yeah, they're pretty big. They might be, uh, they have two doors. Those might each be two units. Stilts. Do they know something we don't? Well, we're right on the river, so I suppose it could get hot. My trailer's not on stilts. Cooled down a little bit today and got a little cloudy, but still nice views of the river. Right now I'm just waiting for my laundry to be done, so I think I'll go and sit. And this nice, well, I keep saying nice, but it's a pretty <laughs> swinging bench that I can look out and see if any boats go by. Well, they look like in season they have kayaks here to rent at Fort McAllister. And they're located here right by where the boat launch is. It's a decent boat launch. And they also offer, if you don't have them, they have uh, life jackets. Tide's going out. Lots of sandbars right now. Tide looks like it moves pretty quickly. I was here just two hours ago and all of this was underwater. Now it's... You can see all the mud flats. And we got some people fishing out on the dock. And pier. Great place to spend the day. Jill, where would you uh, rank Fort McAllister among state parks? You know, I, uh, we've been to so many. Yeah, we've been to a lot, but I think um, it's probably one of my favorites in Georgia. It's a uh, very pretty, very southern, lots of uh, trees and Spanish, Spanish moss, moss and a lot of deer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't go anywhere without getting photo bombed by a deer. <laughs> right. Um, there's also a lot of great fishing yeah. and. Uh, but not much else unless you want to go to Savannah. Savannah. Yeah, Savannah is probably about a 30-mile uh, trip from the park. But there is a little restaurant and a marina just outside the park that you can go and spend and other, the day. There's other stuff to do there. Lots of history. Lots of history. And we're going to give you the tour. We sure are. There's the marina. We're here at Fort McAllister Marina. So we stopped here. It's about a mile or two down from the campground. That's a big boat. Look at that sailboat. Look at the mast on that thing. Woohoo! The marsh and all its wildlife. And the Magnolia Trail. Right at the beginning of where the campground starts, there's something here called the Magnolia Trail. It takes you out to see the uh, marshlands. So maybe we'll take a little bike ride back there and see what it looks like. There are some uh, informative signs here along the way, and this one talks about a gopher tortoise who has to lift his shell up to actually move. And it says, "Try some, <laughs> try some push-ups here to see how it feels." Uh, I don't think so. Sort of makes its way out here to the marsh. Got the palmettos and Spanish moss. And then out here to the, I guess this is part of the Okichi River. So where are we going, Jill? We're going to the museum and to the, see Fort McAllister here at the state park. It's a historic uh, state park. Oh, yeah, that's right. That uh, was one of the forts set up to protect, uh, protect uh, Savannah, Savannah yeah. during the Civil War. It was a Confederate fort. <laughs> Well, uh, obviously. Yeah, but Sherman came and uh, took it over and it's marched to the sea. Right. And, but up until then, it had withstood maybe seven, eight naval bombardments. So it was a, uh, it was quite a successful fort for the Confederacy. We're gonna take a little tour of the Fort McAllister Museum. 
see how good stuff is in there. This is the Fort McAllister Museum. This is the Inside Interpretive Center. It has lots of artifacts from the Civil War and the Confederacy and also the Union. The fort saw its first action in 1862 and still contains the most well-preserved earthwork fortification left from the Civil War. It was attacked by Union ironclads at least a half dozen times over the next two years, but it did not fall to the north until 1864 when General Sherman marched into town. This is what some of the fortification would have looked like back in the Civil War in the 1860s. Tried to keep them from coming through and attacking the earthen fort. This here looks like it was an extra berm that they put as a slight fortification that they could probably hide behind if anybody came up from the beaches or the shoreline. This is sort of a reproduction of where maybe the tents would have been. And a lot of this stuff was rebuilt and refurbished by Henry Ford. Because he had a summer house down, winter house down here. And he enjoyed his history. So he spent some money rebuilding the place. Ford actually bought this property and started renovations in the 1930s. His estate later sold it to the International Paper Company, which in turn donated the land to the state of Georgia in 1958. Here's where the cannons were located so they could shoot straight out to the Okechee River there. This cannon also was on a little pivot so they could, was able to move it from one side to another depending on where they wanted to shoot. Looks like somebody would come out of the fort from underneath, come get his little stick there to push the cannonball in, come out, get ready to shoot, anyone coming down the Okechee River. Boom! This was sort of a bomb-proof area built into these mounds that they built that served as a hospital and kept supplies so that if they were being bombed, at least they were sort of protected. This is basically an all-earthen fort, no wood like in old, some forts. You can see all around here all the mounds. In, we're inside the bomb-proof place, and you can see here's the beds that I guess they used for the hospital people, the injured. At least one thing, and when hot Georgia summers, it's, it's nice and cool in here, so they probably stayed very cool all times of the year. This would have been something similar to what the officers lived in back in the day in the 1860s or Civil War days, and it said it resembled a plantation house. And they would have took their meals and had any visiting officers come, come to stay. As you can probably tell, we love our history. Not just reading about it, but being able to see it and touch it. So we could think of no better way to end our trip to Fort McAllister than by walking through history. We're so glad you could join us on this trip, and, as always, we'll see you down the road. Stop, stop, stop!